this week's challenge, we're at Just Wood Community Wood Recycling Centre in Leicester. To put three different power tools to the test, but which brands are on offer? Mine are from Britain's most loved DIY brand, Bosch. I've got the Bosch Advanced Orbit Sander, their Universal Impact Combi Drill and their Cordless Jigsaw. But why go obvious? Why go for the obvious, Georgie, when you can go cheerfully cheaper? This is a brand called Erbauer, which is German for builder, yeah? And I've got their cordless random orbit sander, their cordless combi drill, and their EXT cordless jigsaw. Bosch is actually German for Bosch. I'm going to win this challenge. I have concerns. <laughs> so it's a classic gadget show challenge. I've got a cheaper, lesser known tech brand. And I've got a better known and a more expensive brand. As usual, they've got similar specs. And we've got an expert carpenter with more than 10 years' experience under her tool belt. Dell will be keeping an eye on us to decide whose tech is best. On to challenge number one. Oh, look, Georges, while we have a challenge. To find out who has the best sander, sand me. You know what? It's nice to get some plain speak from the producers instead of their usual puns. Very funny, Georgie. I get it. Plain, sander. Yeah. You see, nothing gets past the Otis. Oh, yeah. Right. Before we make these doors as smooth as Georgie's gag, we're getting kitted up. And putting the same standard universal sanding paper of 100 grit on each machine. Dell will be deciding whose sander delivers the smoothest door. You ready to get sanding? I am. Both our sanders are powered by battery, and my 18-volt pack should make mincemeat out of this 50-year-old varnish. Touch wood. Yeah, well, my cheaper Erbauer also has 18 volts of power, Georgie. Hey, hold on. Which I'm struggling to harness. It's like a fucking drum phone. <laughs> that could be your speed setting there, Otis. My Bosch starts at 600 OPM, that's orbital strokes per minute, and as I move it up all the way to 2,400, the smoother it gets. Otis. The higher the power, the smoother the sanding motion is. All right, Georgie, you may do the expert. Turning it up to the max oh, setting of 11,000 OPM does seem to have done the job. I'm liking the two-handed grip. I think it's gliding quite nicely, and it only weighs 1.4 kilos. Well, mine's 0.3 kilograms lighter than that, has a rubber grip up top, and the dust box is efficient too, which is more than I can say about yours. Look, you're a right state. Look at you. I do have a collection box, but it doesn't seem to be working quite as well as yours. I mean, I've got a little bit of mess on mine, but... I've got so much sawdust in there. Yeah. Hopefully, Dell will be all about the sanding of the door and the sawdust on the floor. And in your shirt and your vest. I am done. OK, yeah, yes, so am I. Dell, come fill my silky smooth surface. That's very nice. Thank you. And that's very nice as well. With both machines having performed their sanding duties well, for Dell, it all comes down to ease of use. I say, I think this one is a little bit too dusty, hence the mess you're in. It seems a little bit bulky as well. That one is more versatile with moving if you're going to be using it for a long time, and the dust is a lot better contained in that machine. So, your winner... ...would be this one. Ah. Oh. One nil to you, my friend. Well, would you believe it? My Erbauer wins round one. Not bad, Otis, but no time to soak up the glory. It's time for challenge two. You know the drill by now. Screw and drill into these materials. Decide which is the best combi drill. OK. We've got wood, brick and tiles to put our combi drills to the test. OK, so, um... Start with the wood. OK, then. And the same standard drill bits, screws and drivers. So, once again, the only variable is our tools. Here we go. Screwing 40mm oh, oh. long wood screws into a solid block of hardwood is ideal for putting our drills torque to the test. 
Are you, are you pushing down at all with the drill? I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. Torque is the force the drill produces to turn an object. My Bosch has 20 torque settings to produce a force of up to 34 Newton metres. Though I'm having a bit of a wobble. If you do it slow, 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 it won't spin so much when you're trying to put it Okay, in. so start off slow. I wouldn't take too long, Georgie. My cheaper drill has six more Newton metres of torque, although only 19 torque settings. Oh, that was the most satisfying yet. That's it, Georgie. Love it. With ten screws screwed equally well, I don't think either of us are prepared to concede on torque. Time to get the bricks out and do some drilling in hammer mode. Right. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. The hammer drill delivers solid blows behind the drill bit to help push it into masonry. A bit of user error there, but don't worry. My Bosch comes with two gears and a variable speed trigger, so I can increase or lessen impact as I go. Ha! My Erbauer also has a variable speed trigger and two gears, Georgie. There's nothing in it. Well, Dell did say you've got to let the, the tool do all the work, haven't you? So. I mean, you're making it look quite hard work. Thanks for that, Georgie. Thank you. All being pretty even in hammer drill mode too, time to test out the drills on the most notoriously tricky material for drilling, tiles. OK, so we've got our tile bit in. We're taking it off hammer mode, yes. as instructions say. Yep. Right. All right. A bit of tape on the tiles stops them cracking as you drill, and thankfully, at 1.3 kilos, my Bosch is very easy to manoeuvre. Like an absolute dream. Well, I'll admit mine is heavier at 1.5 kilos, but that might be because I have a metal gearbox rather than your plastic one. Less likely to damage if I drop it, you see. Easier than the brick. Oh, gorgeous hole in that. Really nice hole. Might start making holes in the bathroom. <laughs> Well, there we go. Three tests. Yep. We've gone through wood, brick, and now tile. And I'd say they performed really well. I think they both performed really well. It's, I'd also say it's too close to call. But let's see what our expert Del's saying when she gets her hands on them. Come on, Del, which is your favourite? See, this one feels a lot more robust um, because you do drop them, you knock them over all the times. This one just feels a little bit more better quality than the Bosch one does, in really? my opinion. Really? Yeah. And my cheaper Erbauer has nailed this challenge as well, sailing in to a two-point lead. So far in today's DIY tech challenge, my budget Erbauer sander and drill came out on top against Georgie's more expensive Bosch power tools, giving me a 2-0 lead. But now it's time to see which is the sharpest in the box with a cutting challenge. And it seems we're being joined by a very special guest. Oh, ho, ho. what do we have here? Wow. It's a stencil <laughs> form of John Bentley. So here is our challenge three waiting for us. Cut around this very special stenciled artwork to decide which jigsaw is the best. OK. Oh, I'm, I'm worried I'm going to give him a bit of a too close a shave. Yeah, or, or haircut, head cut. <laughs> And to make sure it's just the plywood we end up sawing, expert carpenter Dell is once again on hand to keep an eye on us before deciding the winner. Right, you ready? I certainly am, Otis. With 2,400 strokes per minute, I'm hoping it's enough to make my Bosch the clear-cut winner. Well, it would be if it wasn't for the fact that my Erbauer has 600 more strokes per minute than yours, Georgie, which should give a smoother finish, although I'm having a bit of mither with my blade. Oh. That's not good. Is this the moment the tables turn? Could the Bosch take ultimate victory by obliterating the competition in this round? Uh, no. Turns out I hadn't put the blade in properly. But... You may just have a weak blade, or you may have just twisted it as it's yeah. gone in and it's just snapped. OK, new blade, please. New blade installed. My Erbauer starts to slice through this ply like a hot knife through butter. And there's plenty power left in the tank. Cutting depth in wood, 120 millimetres. Ah, my Bosch only cuts to 80 mil, but I'm finding it quite easy to manoeuvre. OK, weight, 1.6. Oh, see, mine's a bit heftier, 2.1 kilos. But while you may think a heavier jigsaw would be more cumbersome to manoeuvre, this one feels good to me, Georgie. Well, I must admit, I'm particularly pleased with the performance of my Bosch. Just look at that head of John Bentley. We have a beheaded John Bentley. Show us your handiwork. Well, I've got to say, 
Don't judge me on the main part of John's head. It looks like a dog's tube. Yeah, but judge me more on the lower bit when I was going much slower. Well, overall, I was really impressed with my Bosch. Yeah. But, you know, considering I've never done this before, I found it very intuitive to use, easy to handle, and I'm really impressed with the end results. But it's not down to you to choose the winner, Georgie. That honour is Dell's. But, uh, let's have a go. Look at this one. It's a lot lighter. I think they're fairly evenly matched. Okay. So you'd say that's a draw? I would say that's a draw, yes. So, despite my slightly cack handed work at the start, Dell was impressed by both jigs to give each a point, giving Maya Bauer a 3 1 victory. Well, I never saw that one coming. Well, I've got Otis's version of your head here, John. And, George, I can't see why it's a draw. This works so shoddy. I'll tell you why it's a draw. That shoddy finish has nothing to do with the jigsaw. It's to do with Otis's appalling technique. So when Dell actually tried out the two jigsaws, they realised actually they were both quite similarly matched. Mm, so I guess the lesson that should be drawn from this is that a big-name brand isn't necessarily the best. Mm. So if you go on a bish and bash, you don't have to bosh. Not necessarily. OK. Well, I'm taking your head home with me, John. Ooh.